This is Econ 2020. I'm all set up. As you can see, stand, got banners, got the new Chronicles of Crime 1400 over there, got Fistful of Meeple set up over there, Tattoo Games just behind me here, Wotan Games just behind me here, and some edible meeples just behind me there. Uh, and Traveling Man, this side. So the convention has just opened the doors. It's 9.30. See Ash in the background there. I'm about to hopefully get my first demo on the way. And I'm pretty excited. Not worry about anything. Let's get this going. Guys, this is Aircon 2020. Uh, end of roughly the first day, end of the first day, winding down now. It's about four o'clock. It's been okay, a bit quiet actually. Um, I've had a few demos of Chronicles of Crime 1400, obviously. That's been the most popular thing. Um, I did a couple of games, demos of my own game. I've got a game of Fistful of Meeples in and uh, talked to a lot of people. Uh, had a look around. Let's just show you about it. How it looks. There's obviously people around. The gaming halls are starting to fill up. There's some traders still not here yet. You can see people playing over there. Alright, well, see you guys later for some more games. So I'm in the King Suite and they are doing a giant Draftosaurus game. So I thought I just wanted to show you. We've got a few copies of Draftosaurus out here and you can play up to 50 people. That's okay, awesome. So I'm just going to show you a little quickly the footage of what they're doing. Your left hand side. Oh, the cafe. Cafe side, yeah. Food court, sorry. Pass to your right. In an empty pen, please. Oh. Any empty pen? Yeah. You're bound to have empty pen yeah. still. An empty yeah, pen. place, please pass to the right. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Don't get them confused. Okay. We're going to go to another empty pen. Any empty pen, please? Right, okay, pass to the right. <laughs> to the woodland area. To the top three, the three green areas. Also green. Okay, pass, how many dinosaurs have you left? One. Just the one, here yeah. we go. <laughs> to the restroom side of the board, the right side of the board, please. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 
The right restroom side, the right side. Thank you. Right, pass the, if we pass the dinosaurs round, we'll have six more each, please. Hi, how are you doing? Yeah, we're really enjoying playing Draftosaurus. We've changed it a bit, so we've gone for a much larger number of people. Uh, so everyone puts, uh, grabs 12 dinosaurs, puts them in the big bucket, and then we pass that round. So when we're drafting, we just all pass to the right, and there's a big group of people doing it, and they're having lots of fun. How many copies of um, Draftosaurus did you have we've to use for this? Six copies in, but we've got a couple more just in case more people come. What's the max you can do? 50, is it? Uh, so we could do 30 people with the copies we've already opened. So we've got a big bucket of dinosaurs at the front there. Uh, we've got two more copies, so we could add another ten if more people arrive. Awesome, thanks a lot, Nick. No so as you can see, that's pretty cool. Draft the source is a really quick game, 10-15 minutes. Even with this amount of players, it still goes really quick. And people are having a lot of good fun. We did this yesterday, We're doing another one tomorrow. I think it's awesome. I really enjoy it. See you guys later. So this is day two on Aircon 2020. Uh, it's been a pretty busy day. Uh, I've been doing some demos. I've had some really interesting meetings. I've got to even pitch one of my, dem my, or my demos of a game that I've uh, been playtesting over here to a company, which is going to be awesome, really exciting. Even if it doesn't happen, it's still pretty awesome that they wanted to have a look. I went to go check out this big Draftosaurus game. About 20 people playing Draftosaurus with multiple copies. It's really cool. Chronicles of Crime has been going down well. My Fallout game has been going well. Oh man, super fun. Having a great time. A little sweaty and tired. <laughs> so I've been running around, doing media stuff, and playing games, demoing games, talking to people. I freaking love conventions. It's so cool. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, right, this is the end of day three. My voice is gone, but I thought I'd just give you a look at the trade all so you can see who was here and uh, what sort of games you could have tried out and the demos and that sort of stuff, what sort of things were for sale. 
This is right towards the end of the day on Sunday, so um, it's probably going to be a little noisy and so on, but I'll just have a quick look at the trade hall. I'm not going to go through all the gaming halls and stuff upstairs and stuff like that. It's very much the same as it was last year, so you can always check out that video. All right, so I'm going to turn this around. Let's have a look see and see who's here. All right, so I'm going to start off with my, my store. I've got, obviously, my two companies that I work for, Lucky Duck Games and Final Frontier Games. I've been demoing Fistful of Meeples, the new Chronicles of Crime, which has just finished the game off now. And uh, obviously, Coloma was doing really well. And uh, it was going really, really well. Lots of people enjoying the games. I've sold out of Fistful and both Chronicles of Crime. So that was really good. Opposite me here, I've got Traveling Man. They're obviously the local Traveling Man here in Leeds. And uh, they've got lots of games here that you can try out and buy. Uh, this is the game zone one on this side. And next to me here is Wotan Games. So they're obviously demoing War of the Realm, War of the Nine Realms, Camelot the Court. They've got two tables here. They've been doing a new game, Brexit, the real deals are. So uh, I'm going to have a little walk down here. Next to me, you've got the Gorgon's Launch. This is on Kickstarter at the moment. It's a, sort of a lightweight dungeon crawler game uh, with standees and stuff. So they're trying to keep the cost down to a very minimal type. This is on Kickstarter now. I think I'll try and put a link in the description below if you want to go check it out. Uh, this is Zatu Games. This is uh, Martin Poole and guys over there. Nick's running this stand. You can see him over there. And uh, on this side, we have Overstock over here. This is Mandela's new game. So this is from Play for Keeps. They got demoing this over here. With some guys eating some lunch over here with some art. We got some more browsing Grinning Frog and uh, Sensor Ghosts over here. All people demoing the games for the weekend. Theo G. Hello, Nick. <laughs> Theo G. Oh, oh, look again. Wow. I wonder if I can see him again. <laughs> So Theo G, this is on Kickstarter at the moment as well. I think uh, I think it's close to funding or maybe funded, I'm not sure. That's Porpoise Lauder. Uh, this is hopefully going to have a review on my channel soon. I've got a copy at home, I just need to get it to the table. Uh, we got Meeple Games on the right here. Another trade store. This is obviously right next to Aaron Games. We do uh, fighting fantasy books, that sort of thing. And we've got Battle Mats. For your role play games. Oh, uh, they can uh, check out. You can have a look at their battle mats. I know it's a bit of glare now on the camera, but uh, some great looking book battle mats where you can just change to the next battle mat. That's really cool. We've got cardboard and coffee over here. How's it doing, buddy? Good. Uh, little paraphernalia shop with some clothes, dice bags, all sorts of good stuff. We've got Bez's massive stall over here doing Wibble. And yeah, he's been demoing his new game, Seize to Power, over here as well. I think it's called Seize to Power. You might hate me if I get that wrong. It's something about Seize and Power. Here's Bez over here. Hello, Bez. Yay! <laughs> 2 p.m. events. Oh, yeah. Um, this is obviously the gaming zone over here. Lots of people playing games. This is obviously really full every day. Down this side, got a new game that I've not heard of called Defection. I've not had a chance to come look at it yet. We've been busy over at my stall. But it looks pretty good. A little space adventure game. Uh, on the right here, we've got Critical Kit Dice. We've got some demos for our loop chase. It's got mob sitters in the back, which I'll come around to. The ITB games on the right here. We've got some demoing Subterra 2, which was successfully funded on Kickstarter. And their new game, Aquanauts, which is, looks like it'll be coming to Kickstarter soon. And over here, We've got some reprobates playing some Seven Dwarfs game, pretending like they're not seeing me. This is Barney's store. Hey Barney! How's it going, buddy? Yeah, good, good. Yeah, you have a good weekend? Yeah, it's been alright. It's been alright. I've played yeah. a lot of games. Yeah, we um, And that's all that counts, really. What was the favourite game of the week? Oh, we played Archaeology just now. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah? Yeah, I like Western Legends. That was yeah. interesting. Or a little long, maybe. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit long. <laughs> That's Luke's fault though. Yeah, yeah. First time playing though, isn't it? So, you know, first one's a learning game. Cool. It's good seeing you back in stalls, man. Yeah, cool. Cheers. Speak to you later. Let's, um, 
Hello. Hello Dave, how are you? I'm very good. Uh, you're showing Rockpool. your game Rockpool? Yep, just out published with uh, Gibson's Games. Yep. Just launched in time for Aircon, so this is the first convention it's been to, although it was play tested here originally, so it's good to bring it back to Aircon. Might be the last one for this year as well. Maybe so, <laughs> I hope not, because it's been entered into the best family game for UK Games Expo. So Fair. I hope the UK Games Expo goes ahead, and everyone who's watching this will vote for Rockpool. Well, they will, of course they will. It's a uh, quick fast family game, it's about kids collecting shells on a beach, uh, and you're also clearing away rubbish. One of the nice things about the game is the rubbish can be good or bad, so if you neglect the rubbish and end up accidentally collecting it, it's, it counts against you. Whereas if you're a good, virtuous citizen who clears away the rubbish and ties up the beach, it gives you an increased chance of winning the game. What you're trying to do is it's a sort of set collection game, collecting different types of shells before the tide comes in and washes everything else away. So it's good, fast fun, quick to play, and hopefully everyone will enjoy it. Great, Only Matt. Only £13 from Gibson's Games, and it's going to be in mainstream shops soon. Great, I'm looking forward to trying it. Thank you, Jason. I'll speak to you later, buddy. Bye. Yeah. Play to zone over here. Ian Broken over there. Hi, hey guys. Redwell Games over here, playing Six Gun Shooter. Hey, Tom, how are you doing, buddy? I'm doing well. How's your day been, sir? So pretty good. It's My good. voice is gone. How's yours? Uh, I've kept it in a cage for a few hours to get it recuperate, but it's nearly out there. Fair enough. This is Six Gun Showdown, which has just been delivered, isn't it? Uh, fulfilled in October. It's now out our iron stores, so Zatu's got it. It's on Amazon and uh, your local game store, so it's been in stock shops since November. It's been pretty popular this weekend, hasn't it? It's been popular. People have been coming and enjoying their games. Great. So, Good stuff, man. Okay. Speak to you Take later. Care, Jason. This is Hub Games showing off their new games, Prism Arena. This is looking good, Arena Battle Star game with some interesting combinations. Uh, Adventure Mart, which is going to be demoing at Expo, hopefully. We've got Mark over here showing off his game, which he's actually checking out this game. But over here we've got Die of the Dead. It's a great looking colorful game, look at this. This is just the prototype and it looks fantastic. Mark's doing a great job with this game, it looks really good. I tried to come play it earlier. Unfortunately, I didn't get enough time because, as you can see, my stall is right over there and I had to rush back to go check it out. But it's a sort of dice allocation with different powers. You put them in the coffin, shake them about, and then they move up the stairs. Looks really cool. I quite like it. Now we're back with Traveling Man. We've got Silver Birch Games here with deck chairs. Hey, guys. That looks really interesting. Giant meeples on the deck chairs. Uh, Firestorm Games is over there. Jimmy Chow. The Thornless Rose. Interesting, more interesting stuff for gamer geeks. Let's move around. My voice is so broken. The big potato games is over here. You can go try and win a potato out of the claw. And obviously, I've got a few games over there, which is great fun. Over here, we've got Board Game Hub with Tranquility. This looks really nice. Hey guys, Tristan Rossini, I think I've said that right. I love his artwork. He does some fantastic stuff. Look at this. I mean, this is a small little box game, just like that. But lots of nice pieces of art. It looks really tranquil. I really like it a lot. I'm really looking to try this, see what it's like. Looks good. They have a few demo tables here, and they're showing it off over here. And uh, it's looking good. All right, where are we off to next? We've got Super B. Interesting. I don't know much about that. I'll have to come have a look before I go. We've got Oink Games over here, showing off their great little selection of smaller more box games this looks like a new one i'm not sure i've seen this one before but looks good and then some of the favorite regular favorites over here gentlemen selling some art over here some of the real real nice pieces as you can see the water deep art over there is that bomb sheet from her stone looks great really nice hello bud Right, this is the entrance as you can see down here. You don't obviously go on to come through, you have to go around the sides, but I thought I'd just show that. Over here we've got Yay Games. You see Andrew demoing, what is he demoing? Gruffalo. So this is their new game, the Gruffalo, which is obviously a very family like great game. But they got some of the irregulars here at Omino's, which is their award winning game, and Omino's hieroglyphs, etc. Over here, David catches David while he's eating some food. Hey David, how you doing buddy? You want to give a quick shout out what you're demoing? Perseverance, Mike Dash's new game coming oh. on Kickstarter in May. In May? Dinos, dice drafting, worker placement, 
multiple episodes, storyline, you know, everything. Great. I'm looking forward to trying it, buddy. It looks great. And before that, Excavation Earth from Mighty Boards, April the 6th. Wow. Market been, manipulation, alien archaeologists, dual use cards, you know, the whole nine yards. You've been a really busy man as we got to have the, your game at PSG over here as well. Defense of Procyon 3, yes, April 21st. See you there. All right, cool. Thanks a lot, buddy. Enjoy your day. Thank you. Obviously, mob sitters over here. This is a gangster game. We've seen this on, the, on my channel already. And uh, this is pretty much it. Actually, I'll show you a plastic soldier game. Hey, Tom. Oh, I'm going to quickly move through here to show you the. The game I was just talking about, David, about. It looks really good. I haven't had a chance to try it, but I did pick up a copy of Blitzkrieg. I'm going to try that, hopefully get that on the channel. But I thought I'd just bring it over here quickly. We've got Classic Soldier Company over here, and they are doing the defense of Procyon 3. This is a very big, lots of miniatures, lots of cool stuff. We've got the space side of the board. You've got the Earth Planet side of the board, and they're obviously demoing some of the other games. You've got Blitzkrieg, which has done fantastically well. That's over there in the corner. And all their regular stuff. They've got some specials there that you can get for Lincoln, Battle Ravens, Milito. It's really good stuff. So that's pretty... Oh, on the side yet, we've got Imagination Gaming, which we were talking about earlier. That's where you can try some of the family-friendly games, Family Zone, and uh, Harbour Games down there in the corner. That's pretty much it. So there's more stuff up here. Down that way, you've got the bar, the gaming library, the bring and buy, all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to sign off now, and I'm going to go finish off my demos, and uh, I will see you guys later. <laughs> actually, just before I sign off, I just want to show you. There's actually this section I've missed. You've obviously got the mine, all these games over here. I'm not sure. I'm not actually into this part of the rock, but you got Medusa Games, obviously very popular games in there. Hi Richard. And plenty of games here to try. Loads of demo space. Lost Bastion is obviously redo. Deep Blue is good fun. So Key Forge. Sort of like an Asmo Day section. Uh, we got Library Games, not familiar with their work. This is obviously the back of Zatu games down here. And uh, we've got Mr. Paul Harris over here, who is demoing Scrumpy, which is coming to Kickstarter. 4th of the 4th, 2020. Nice, that's really cool. It's close. almost like I was ready to say it. <laughs> it's been demoing here, it's looking good. I had a demo of this this morning. It was good fun, I actually really enjoyed it. I'm surprised because you know, Paul's not very good at anything. <laughs> I do my best, but, you know. When's the next you Handicon? You can only work with what you, what you, what you start with. So That's next true. Handicon yeah. is uh, definitely going to be... Excuse me. I'll point this somewhere else so you don't get anything. Assuming everyone stays healthy, it's going to be uh, 9th of August to the 11th of August. I want to say that. Maybe the 8th or the 10th. Okay, cool. Yeah, so let's that hope. weekend yeah. in Maidenhead. And this is just said it's coming to Kickstarter. What else you got going on? Uh, at the moment, it's all the Kickstarter. It's just the Kickstarter. I think... I'm like eight weeks away from doing a baby as well, so that's quite scary, but uh, not me. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, like I was, I was part of it. I think. Yeah, you had a helping so hand for about dad, two minutes. Publishing a game, running a convention, you know, your standard year. Yeah, many hats, little time. <laughs> yeah. I'll see you later, buddy. Take care. Yeah. And here we got some more games of year. Interesting looking. I don't actually familiar with any of these, I haven't had a chance to come look. Oh, and of course, we've got the standard, I've seen them at every convention now. We've got some gamer jewelry and some meeple stuff that you can eat. We've got all of the regular edible dice and meeples. Hey, long time no see. <laughs> Definitely going to see you at the next convention again, we're going to make it a regular habit. I hope so. <laughs> Thanks a lot, cheers. Alright, so that is officially it now as I've seen everything that you could see from down to the trade hall, so sign it off again.